Good morning, guys. It's Sonia. How are you? Let's see who's on here this morning with us. Happy Friday to you. Can you believe this week has flown by? I told you the time's going to pass anyhow, right? We're just flying by this week. So it's Sonia with Junk Monkey Paint Company. Join me on here live at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time throughout the week. And then don't forget on the weekends, like tomorrow and Sunday, I'll pop in at noon. So if you want to connect for a bit, those are the times that I'm doing it. So how are you guys doing this morning? Funny thing this morning, I went out and made myself a cup of hot chocolate and I put the little pod, the little cup into my coffee maker. And when it poured out, my cup was still just had water into it. And I'm like, what? I swear. I know I didn't lose my mind, right? And did not put the right cup into it. And uh, when I looked, the little pod had nothing into it. Have you ever done that before? Got one of those little pods and there's no coffee inside the cup. That was the first time that ever happened to me. So say hello you, as you guys pop on. It lets me know if this broadcast is working okay or if we need to restart the broadcast. So if you're there, say hello. I'm going to talk today about staying relevant on social media, okay? So because we can post what we want on social media, right, when we have a platform. And um, I just kind of wanted to give you guys a tip when it comes to what's going on right now. Um, just around the world, what people are talking about and asking yourself whether or not, and I don't even know if this broadcast is working, guys. So I'm going to double check again. Somebody say hello if you're out there. Because my screen looks kind of wonky on this side. So let's see. Okay. All right. I think YouTube is finally sending out the signal here. All right. Perfect. Perfect. Say hello. Oh, good, Lisa. Thank you for getting through there. Awesome. So, um, you know, we can post whatever we want on social media, but I just want to pop in this morning and give you guys a quick tip, a quick chat. So if you're around, do say hello. Hey, Pam, how are you this morning? And um, that is, you know, have you asked your people how they've been doing or, you know, um, just something about life in general right now? It doesn't always have to be about what we're making or creating or what we're selling because never forget that, um, you know, when you when you have people um, on your platform, people who follow you that that I always try to remind myself because it's easy um, to get caught up in like you're talking to a phone. No, you're talking to people. Right. You guys are out there this morning. And when I'm saying good morning, Christy, good morning, Pam. Good morning, Lisa. Um, you guys are actual human beings out there. Right. And so never forget that the people on your social media, people who follow you on whatever platform you have in mind that you're on right now, that those are people. So um, in terms of staying relevant, think to yourself, while there are, there are bigger things at play in the world right now and people are concerned and people are talking, uh, more people than ever are home right now, right? They have a change in routine. Have you guys this week um, asked your people how they're doing? So if I were to say to you guys right now, how are you guys dealing right dealing right now? I do, every state is different, but you know, how are you passing the time right now? What are you guys up to, right? And that was something that if you saw, I posted on my social media yesterday. And I just want to throw that out there that um, you know, don't forget to stay relevant. You're you might be over here talking all things about what you're doing, about your projects and your tutorials, but it's okay to put your head up and ask your people how are things out there today, right? How's your day going? Um, you know, how are you feeling and and stay relevant by not having your head in the sand and not letting them know that, hey, you're a person, too. You're going through this. And the thing is that if you're feeling a certain way, your your friends, your online friends might be feeling the same way as well. Right. So um, you can let them know how you're feeling and um, ask them how they're doing as well. Um, that's like anything. Like this morning, I put out a um, a post on my social media and I said, what movies and TV shows are everybody is everybody watching out there right now, right? Because I don't know about you, but I'm like, I'm about to finish up my one of my series that I'm watching and I'm going to be ready to find something new to watch. And so, you know, that could be something that you could ask your people if you're somebody who loves movies and that is just something that comes natural and that you've talked about maybe when you've done lives before or, you know, you, that's been part of the chatter. You know, what kind of culture have you created with your social media? Is it a fun one? Um, is it uh, those are kinds of conversations that you've had before with your followers? Those are social, right? Remember that social media is social media. And so it doesn't have to be about selling all the time, right? And so the more that you can just tap into and just take away that, you know, the, the sales hat 
and realize that I'm a human, you're a human. And a lot of us are thinking the very same things, right? And so when um, topical things are happening out there, you know, things are making the news regardless. I mean, it could be the royal wedding. It could be anything, but it's everywhere. And you know that everybody else is seeing it and you're seeing it. You know, why don't you say something, you know, if you want to, you know, not to create controversy or anything like that. But you could ask just a nice question to get people's thoughts, you know. So what do you think? You know, what do you guys. So with this thing going around, what what did you guys end up seeing? Was it purple for you or was it blue for you? Right. And it's always interesting to hear um, just what your people think who follow you. It gives you good insight into them and uh, their sense of humor and, you know, how they're doing right now. All those things. Right. Hey, Sandy. Hey, Lisa. And Hannah's on here. Uh, Chrissy said they're glad to have something to watch. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, Jan went live yesterday showing the update on her remodel. Everybody loves to find out how other people live and what they're up, up to. And you probably inspire people, Jan, who popped on and saw that and went, you know what? I got to like, it gives them something to look forward to, right? But have you ever heard, um, you know, there, there, are, there are things that will pop up in your feed and they'll say, you know, buy this now, 60 days of content out or 120. I mean, I've seen some crazy ones right over the last few years come out because creating content can be um, a source of a pain for people, right? They're like, what, what do I come up with? Well, the less that you try to be, you know, salesy, the easier it gets. Just try being a human who just, you know what, you do what you love, right? And you share it with other people and stop trying to like really force what you're trying to create. But one of the problems with if you were to uh, think about, well, I'm going to plan up my social media for the next, I don't know, four weeks, for the next six months, uh, for a year, whatever, that you risk being relevant, right? You risk being topical. You risk showing people that you're there and that you have a heartbeat and um, that you identify with people and that you're in that same boat, so to speak, with people. So while we're always, you know, looking at ways to make sure that we, you know, are creating content and making it interesting on our social media, don't ever forget to stop and just ask a question once in a while, right? We talk in here about asking questions in, in the middle of live videos and asking people what they think of colors and tutorials, but how about just asking them what they're like, you know, life stuff, you know, how they're feeling, um, if they saw it too, and what their thoughts are, or just, it can be about anything, um, but it, that's how you keep yourself relevant is that, you know, you you're you understand the climate that you're living in and you're also aware that other people are in the same climate as you as well. Right. And we're all going through the same thing. And so, you know, maybe today is a, a day to ask a question um, that you want to ask somebody out there. Right. It could be, come up with something um, that might you never know, but that might get some chatter going on your page and people connect with each other through that chatter because somebody writes something out and. Somebody else, another one of your followers go, oh, my gosh, I love that, too. Right. And they make connections. And so a lot of times, you know, we have a platform and it's a place to bring people together. So maybe you just need to generate a topic today that and being being mindful of what's going on around us. Right. A po in a positive light and um, see where it goes from there. Hey, Susan, how are you? Snow flurries back home. It's raining here today. They've been working on the street, so the sweepers have been going by. Early this morning, Matt woke up. He said it sounded like a jet was landing outside the front of our house on the street here. Raining in Ontario. Yep, sounds like we got much of the same weather, Sandy. So yeah, you want to stay relevant, show people that you're alive and that you're going through the same thing that, that they are as well, right? And the stuff that you're wondering about right now, like if there's things at home right now that you're that um, you're wondering about or you're doing, you know, try putting that out on your social media and asking that question um, to your followers and just see uh, what response you get back, right? So even as you're planning out your social media, always leave spaces for you to be able to jump in and share something um, that just shows that you're there, right? That it's not a robot running your page and that, you know, you have feelings too and that you're there and that you have empathy and that you, um, yeah, you're just there with your people, right? And um, you're on the same playing field. Candy's writing out ideas. Oh, she's sharing with others, getting new ideas for uh, dec home decor and giving them a moment of escape. It's true.
<laughs> Bacon sounds good right about not now. Absolutely. Nice. Oh, wow. Lisa, it's going to be 80 down there. <clears throat> I think up here today, it's somewhere in the high 60s, but it's rainy, but it's beautiful. It's very, very um, like, you know, with anxieties running high, it definitely feels like it's when it rains and it's dark outside, it just helps you settle a little bit more, right? Hannah says she's thinking about doing a um, make and take kids crafts. Oh, craft kits since everyone is stuck at home. That is a great idea. Absolutely. Oh my goodness. Yes. When you're stuck at home, right? Well, all I know is right now is when I get done this live, I'm going to be shipping out um, junk monkey paint to everybody. Everybody's working on their crafts, right? Even asking people, what are you doing right now? You know, or if you're somebody who's in business and um, you're looking at doing something that might be geared towards kids, why don't you put out on your page right now and ask people, you know, how are you, um, you know, how are you keeping the kids occupied right now? What are some um, some ways that you've come up with or what's what's working with you right now to uh, keep your kids occupied? Because right now, you know, kids are at home, right? We're playing it safe here. So think about things that um, you can ask. And that's a good example, just given whatever it is that your uh, business is built around, right? It is a calm and cozy day. Totally is. Nice. You guys are from all over. Cool. All right, friends. Well, that's what I wanted to talk with you guys about today was, you know, just is there a question that you can put out today to your followers um, and just be a regular human and ask how they're doing or just, you know, something that's maybe on your mind and ask them as well or something that they're seeing and everybody's all seeing together, right? Lisa, um, so everything is still on track. And um, so the new spring colors come in next week as planned. Everything is, like I said, is just like coordinated on plan. So it's in production right now. And then next week we'll have the grage, the ducky and the, um, the red lobster or sorry, the rock lobster, the red color. And um, it sold out in pre-order. So whoever got in on pre-order will be the first to get those colors. And then we'll go from there. And then um, what just came back was red apple, Paris gray, champagne poly, acrylic, and uh, chippy hippie, and also monkey shine. I think Brenda's asking Hannah what, what her business page is. Very nice. Yes, share away. Absolutely. So, yeah, who's going to do that? Who's just going to pop in and ask a question today, right? And it can just be text. It doesn't have to have a picture with it. You can do it on a video if you want. Um, but honestly, you can just pop into your page and ask people how they're feeling today, right? And what they're up to. Very nice. I hear the train going by. Man, it is rainy. It is overcast and trains are going by. Feels good today. Christy says, well, I'm placing another order for additional paint today. You haven't stopped. Christy said, oh, sorry, Candy says, my cat name, is it Chanel? <laughs> I love that. Is used to seeing me home. So she follows me everywhere and often gives me the evil eye. <laughs> You could ask how your pets are dealing with being home, right? You know, so uh, whose cat is his, you know, whose who's animal, whose dog is loving the fact that they're home right now and getting all the lovings, right? My humans are home. They're not going away today. They're here with me, right? Those are the things that um, that bring people a smile. And don't be surprised if they pick, they post pictures of their own animals, right? Because those are the things that we're thinking about right now. <laughs> uh, Celeste is down in New, New Orleans. Shipping may be coming to an end very soon. Ooh, what's going on in your state? All right, my friends. Well, I'm going to pop off of here, and I hope you guys have a really good day. I'm going to get to packing and shipping all the happy mail that's going out across the country um, right now and get everybody's stuff out. Christy has a commissioned order to do. Good for you. Look at you rock and roll. 
I'm so proud of you. I've just seen you grow so much and you keep at it. And that's exactly what you need to do, right? Creatively, Stacy says, I did a doggy post. Lots of people posted their babies too. Yes, because that's what's real and relevant in our lives, right? Our fur babies. And so, you know, you hit a chord. Not everybody wants to talk about business or buy, but you know what? They'll talk about, you know, their kids and, you know, how they're dealing with stuff, right? People want that interaction. And people love to be asked how they're doing today, right? And so make your page meaningful and um, ask your people questions. <clears throat> oh, Anna's getting into lots of junk monkey in this weekend. Nice. Yay, you too, Lisa. And thank you for the hearts, Debbie. All right, my friends, let's, let's get the day started and uh, do something today that you'll thank yourself for in the future later. And you'll be like, I'm so glad I did that, especially if you have extra time on your hands right now. You too, Judy. And um, yeah, get something done today that helps move your business forward, right? Because the time is going to pass anyhow. Say it with me. And it's all up to us on how we use the time. So some of us might have a little extra time on our hands right now. So do it. All right, friends, I'll touch base again tomorrow tomorrow uh, at noon. Yeah, and don't forget, like if you have some extra time on your hands today, the book that we're reading, the, um, oh my gosh, where did I do my book? I moved it around because I've been catching up on the chapters myself. So every week we're doing seven chapters, one chapter a day. And so tomorrow we'll have our book chat at noon tomorrow and we'll pull out a few nuggets from the book and then um, we'll, we'll chat and open up for discussion. All right, hey, Jerry from Florida. Good morning, how are ya? All right, you guys stay well, stay, stay healthy, stay happy, and, uh, you know, get your creative pants on, too. Get your paint pants on. All right, see you tomorrow, guys. Bye.